Yo, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. My name is Mike. You can catch me on Twitch at Still NFAC. That's one word S T I L L N F A C. And you can catch me on YouTube at Not Fooling Around Crew. Uh, not Fooling is one word N O T F O O L I N G. And Around Crew is one word A R O U N D C R E W. This is the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. It's 2018. It is a bad mamma jamma. And I'm going to show you guys basics on how to tune a transmission and final drive ratio and the top gear. I'm going to show you how to adjust those two and I'm going to show you how to pick a transmission. I'm going to show you everything I know. Well, not quite everything I know. We won't get into adjusting individual gears, but um, because for the most part, you don't want to do too much there. If it comes up, I'll show you what I do but it probably won't come up. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if you'd like the show, please hit me up with that like on YouTube. It helps so much. So let's get right into it. Well, let's make sure it's all wheel drive because I do love the all wheel drives. So there it's all wheel drive. We'll throw a body conversion kit on it because why the fuck not? And oh my God, I'm so happy we did. But this is just to show you how to tune up the transmission. So that's what we'll do. Um, throwing the race drive line in the race differential on there and then we're going to pick a transmission now as you see here there's the stock transmission there's a race 7 race 8 a race 9 and a race 10 speed and they're all slightly different right like they all weigh different they show different things but when they're adjusted all of the race transmissions the 7 8 9 and 10 speed they all perform the same so the only difference in the in race transmissions is how many gears they have and how much they weigh seven speed transmission weighs less than the eight which weighs less than the nine which weighs less than the ten now unless you want a ten speed for some reason we're gonna always use the lightest one unless we're trying to maybe say we're like at nine say you're trying to get a 998 build and you're at 999 maybe throwing in a heavier transmission will push you down one class point as you can see the seven speed transmission is a 919 the Eight speed brings you down to a 918. So there's one way to shave off some class points. You might be able to do it there. But for our purposes, we're going to use the lightest one, which is the seven. So let's install that and then I'll show you how to adjust the gears. So I get questions about how to tune these gears and it's a lot to write, but it's kind of a simple process, but there is no shortcut to it. Basically, we have three benchmarks here that we can use. Uh, we have a benchmark that's 0 to 60, a 0 to 100, and then the top speed. Now, races, unless you're drag racing, um, 0 to 60, 0 to 100, they're not really that important. But for the most part, like like your top speed, like say your top speed is 277. Like a lot of times that doesn't matter. You're not going to be driving at 277 very often. It's great to get that fast, but most of your racing is done between 100 and 150 or 80 and 150 or 40 and 100 and depending on the car you're driving. So the benchmark that matters the most to me, to me that makes the most sense is the 0 to 100. That's the primary benchmark we're going to tune off of. And then the secondary one will be the 0 to 60. And then the final one we'll worry about is the top speed. So we're keeping an eye on zero to hundred times. You can see it right now. It's four, nine, six, one at three, six, three. So what we do is we move it all the way to the left and it goes to two twenty. We're trying to beat four, nine, six, one. And you can see we went up to five, zero, six, eight. So we're going to go point zero five to the right every time. And we're going to keep an eye on the zero to hundred. Like I said, it's kind of a simple process, but there is no fast way to do it. Kind of have to do it. And eventually the more you do it, you'll notice patterns. Uh, you can see it's going down five zero three eight five zero two two five zero two two five zero zero seven four nine six one four nine seven six four nine three zero it's kind of bouncing back and forth four nine three zero four eight eight three Four eight six eight. Four eight two two is our best so far. Four eight two two. Four nine four five. It bounced back up. So so far, our best numbers are at 
2.85, no, 2.80. You see a 4.882 or 4.822. And a 4.822 at 2.75. So since they're both the same, we look at our secondary figure, which is the 0 to 60. 2.363 at 275. 2.394 at 280. So of those two, the 275 is the better one. Um, it's got the better, well, it's got the same 0 to 100, but the faster 0 to 60. Um, but we're not done. We're going to keep going. Uh, just keep in note, 27. Well, our best number right now is 4822, and that's at 275. Let's keep going, 4822. Let's see if we can beat it. It will, like we said, it bounces back up, but it's likely to come back down again. 4822 is the number we're trying to beat. All right, and we're pretty confident that moving to the right isn't going to help us any. You can see it's getting worse now than it's been. 5-2 is really bad. All right, so the best one we had was at 275. Let's go back there, and then we'll work on adjusting the top speed. The most important one, benchmark that we have is 0 to 100. And then the next one we work with is adjusting the top speed. The 0 to 60 is really a secondary thing we use for tie brakes. Um, so here's how you find out how to adjust your top gear the gear the the chart on the bottom right there is Going to show your gears. Here's first gear second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear sixth gear and seventh gear Now typically this chart when it's working the right way That far right line and that red line at the top your gear final gear should point directly into that corner And theoretically that will give you your highest top speed doesn't always work that way. Sometimes it does. Let's just our top speed is 212.1 right now. Let's see if pointing it at that far corner makes a difference. 212.1. There we go. Look at that. It's up to 214.7. 214.7. All right there. 214.7. Let's see if I'm going to keep going until we drop off of 214.7. If it goes faster or slower 215 5 look at that oh, this is perfect i wasn't sure we were going to get to do this but this is great because now i can show you how to adjust another gear this doesn't happen all the time but let's let's just keep working basically we're going to keep doing this making it faster and faster until it goes the wrong direction there it goes so 216 2 was the number we want now, you don't want to leave your gears like that. You don't want your first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear to be smooth and then suddenly drop into seventh gear like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to adjust sixth gear to make it a more smooth shift. And we do that just like that. Now your curve looks more natural and that's what you want. And you can see we have the best top speed. We set the same, well, we have the best 0 to 60 and the best 0 to 100 times. So that's basically how we adjust the gears. Here, these, these are the gears adjusted. Now, you could, and I used to mess with first gear. Like, you can mess with first gear and get your 0 to 60, 0 to 100 times faster. And it's actually it's it's kind of it's kind of worth it to do it if you have the time typically in my tunes i don't want to mess with those gears as well and they didn't always have this as you can see now that where the gears were originally like if you look down here seventh gear was originally at that that hollow circle you can see that i adjusted six gears at that hollow circle it didn't used to be this easy to put them back if you messed it up so if you mess it up you had to write it down but um so now we can see where we're at so you can adjust and keep an eye on your zero to 60 time depending on the car how much horsepower you have how many gears you have um it'll be first gear that messes your zero to 60 time or uh you can even get your zero to 100 time by using usually first second and third gear you can adjust these three gears and it'll mess with those first three benchmarks but the problem is you don't have a zero to 150 benchmark you don't have a zero to 200 benchmark so you don't know like if you start messing with fourth gear fifth gear sixth gear seventh gear your best guess is just to make them smooth because you don't have a benchmark that gets represented this car is going to be going 100 in second third gear so 
these are the only gears that we have benchmarks to play with. So these are the only ones, if you must mess with your other gears, these are the only ones I'd mess with because you don't have a benchmark to show you what's going on. But for the sake of showing you how to do it, let's just adjust with it a little bit. We'll try and see if I can get this zero to 60 time to drop down a few hundreds. And we should be able to. Um, let's go. So we're gonna move it to the left and see what happens to that zero to 60 time. It's getting longer. Two, three, six. We were at two, three, six, three. Everything's going the wrong way pretty quick. So we're going to go back to the original was 217. Now let's go to the right. Oh, and that's even worse. <laughs> oh, shit. Check that out. So we were at two, three, six, three. If you go to two, four, 19, we're dropped down to a two, one, nine, four. But then look at your zero to 100 time. It's a four, six now. So this is why. Oh shit, that's actually really good. <laughs> that's really good. We shaved off a full tenth of a second in change just by adjusting this gear a hair. So look at that, man. We just, the 0 to 60 time jumped from 2, 3, 6, 3, and 0 to 100 time to 4, 8, 2, 2 goes to 1, 9, 4, 4, 6, 3, 7. Like huge adjustment just by doing that little thing. Let's keep working. Ah, fuck it, and I fucked it up again. So we're going to keep it right there. Um, so that's how you do it. There is no shortcuts. Like, unless you do this for a living, you have a computer program that does it, like, this is the only way to do it. You have to trial and error, and just know whatever you're doing can be undone. Keep an eye on your benchmarks. And know that um, you don't have benchmarks the whole way down. So eventually, you're just wasting your time. If you're moving fourth and fifth gear around, uh, there's a good chance that you'll never see anything from that. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, I would say I'm really happy with the upgrades that we did. So let's just apply this. And I'm never going to... thing is, I'm never going to... We just did this tuning, but I'm not going to leave this car tuned here. So it's kind of garbage. I wish I didn't do this. this. So at least you see how we adjusted the final drive. Why we adjust the final drive. Um, how you adjust... The seventh, the top gear, how you in, how you find the top gear, because the top gear won't always be your bottom gear. The top gear is the gear that's the rightmost on the chart that still affects your top speed. There could be eight, nine, ten gears down here, and if you see me messing with tenth gear and it doesn't adjust my top speed at all, go up to the ninth gear and do it there. And if it doesn't adjust your top speed at all, that means your car's not getting there. So go up one more and go up until you get there. It's usually the rightmost gear on the bottom right chart, but it's not always. So, thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something. What I'll do, see, I, I guess I'll drive it. So, let's just take it for a quick drive. The problem is I didn't actually upgrade the car fully. So, we're in the middle of a class at, at 919. And we'll never use this car at 919. But let's just give it a spin anyways because it's so much faster than it was just a couple minutes ago before we adjusted the gears. All right, this is the um, 2018 911 GT2 RS. Yeah, I wish I had threw all the upgrades in it that I normally would have done because I spent a good amount of time tuning the gears just to not use them. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm definitely going to tune this car up the rest of the way. I love the Porsches. Me and you were having a lot of fun driving the Porsches earlier. Your Porsche was nasty. This isn't the one that you need to use for the, um, the winter event either. The, the 911 Carrera is the event, the one for the event. So I did that one up. That one's a ton of fun. They have a V12 hybrid engine I kept telling you about earlier. It's a good one.